Good morning, everybody. This is Travels with Dottie, and Dottie and I are out for a little walk this morning, and I'm in preparation for doing a special video today. Um, <clears throat> you can see I'm in an RV park. I'm in Preferred RV Resort, which is a member-owned RV park. Um, it's also open to the public, but for the best rates and best experience, becoming a member is a really great idea. And uh, I'll talk about the details of that a little later in the video. But this is giving you a little glimpse. And later in this video, I'm going to give you more than a little glimpse. I'm going to give you a comprehensive tour of this entire facility. And what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to take my GoPro and I'm going to attach it to my bicycle helmet. And I am going to drive every single aisle and row of this RV park so you can see every square inch of it, um, how far the rigs are apart, which spaces have trees, which spaces don't, what the views are like. You will see everything today. And uh, also you see all the amazing facilities that are available here, including um, the clubhouse, which this morning will be hosting a breakfast breakfast they usually have three times per week and it costs just six dollars so i hope you enjoy this video all right well here's the clubhouse and we're about to go in and there is a breakfast going on as i mentioned earlier they have these three times a week for six dollars and i'm just gonna i don't want to linger on everybody on camera here but i just want to show you kind of a flavor for what it looks like when you come in and there we are So here's my two poached eggs, toast, bacon, and hash browns for six dollars. Well, not to mention the coffee, and you can get juice. I just don't get the juice. Um, it is a wonderful bargain and a great place to socialize. There's a little lounge area, place to somebody started a puzzle here. Lots of puzzles, tons of puzzles. <laughs> And it looks like uh, lots of books and DVDs that you can borrow. Um, lots of books. And yeah, here's where the DVDs are. And a big screen TV, checkerboard, recliner, very nice. Walking out from where the dining was. We have a back hallway and we have a room here that you won't know what it is until I turn the light on. So if I can find the light switch, I'm not sure where it is. All right, this is the billiard room. And they have two regulation size billiard tables. Then, of course, the big ladies' room and men's room with showers and everything. And here we have a beautiful indoor hot tub. I love it. And then through here, we go to the pool. So I had to mute this portion because there was, uh, they always have a radio playing like classic rock music out here and in the pool area. So I would have gotten a uh, copyright um, notice if I didn't um, silence it. You can see this uh, whole thing is on tracks. You can move it. One person can open this whole thing up or close it up very easily. It's very well balanced. And this is what the inside of the pool looks like. There are only a couple of people in here today chilly and windy outside but nice and toasty in here and the pool is heated and the air is heated because of all the glass it's just a wonderful thing and over on the left there is an outdoor shower they encourage you to take a shower before you go in the pool um straight ahead there is a laundry room well, let's take a peek in there and show you what that looks like. Here we go. 
and it uses these uh, pay range app so you don't have to use coins and it's very inexpensive the um, washers are a dollar the dryers are a dollar fifty so um, I do it's two dollars and fifty cents for me and here they have the agenda they have printed every single week you can get it by email you can pick it up here in the office and it tells you all the different activities that are happening every day every week And they have events out here where you can see this is a pretty major league um, outdoor grill. Look at the size of that thing. Lots of very interesting kind of landscaping and things that they have out here. And I'm going to walk you through that. Then there's a whole other building over there I'm going to take you through. And you'll be pretty amazed about what you see. <coughs> it's uh, horseshoe pits. Horseshoes included. No horses, just horseshoes. All these little nooks and crannies with benches and picnic tables and here's a, a covered area with a table with outdoor seating with cushions. Some shuffleboard courts. And then a little oasis here and check out the size of that fish. <laughs> They're huge. Like I said, lots of little nooks and cranny to, to sit down and have a little quiet time with the sound of the, the fountain in the creek. There's one little more area up here with similar stuff, but I don't want you to miss it. Yeah, there's a duck in there. In that. Really beautiful landscaping. It's like a little oasis here in the desert. You know, all these little signs that tell you what kind of plants we have here. You know, somebody took a lot of time and care. And if I had a quarter, I put it in a quarter, we could feed those giant koi in there. But I don't think I have any change. Oh, actually, I do. I do, I do, I do. Oh, it's, it looks like it's just a nickel. Let's see dig further in the pocket. Let's see if we can come up with a quarter. Oh, I do have a quarter. Let's... All right, let's see what, let's see what happens here. There they go. <laughs> They're getting breakfast. These guys are enormous. There's a couple in there that are at least a, at least a couple of feet, at least two feet long. Look at them. They're eating their breakfast, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. And we'll go through this last little bit here, then I'll take you over to that other building and I promised you some interesting stuff. And I promise it will not disappoint. I don't know if I showed this earlier. 
so it's a nice little waterfall and water wheel. There's a lot of irrigation in this park. It's the only way they can keep these big tr shade trees over so many of the spots. You know, I've been here a couple of years and I keep spotting new amenities that I hadn't noticed before. Check this out. There's just, you know, free air. You need to air up your tires. There's a station here to do that. Another little fountain. I'm sure that water is recycled into the irrigation system. And this building's called the Wanda Bloom Center, and there's several little different specialty rooms in here. And we are going to start with my favorite one. This is the wood shop. Now I want you to really take a look at all the different machines and things that are available. They do ask for a donation when you use the shop. Two dollars. <laughs> Two dollars when you come in here and use the equipment. Use some scrap wood, which I hope you, I have a little project this weekend, maybe I'll do, and I'll need a piece of scrap wood, a small one. But isn't this wonderful? <coughs> Two dollar per day donation. I think that might be worth it. <laughs> what do you think? Cleaning up after yourself is not a suggestion, it's a requirement. And here, light switch right off. It's not by the front door. It's not an obvious place, but this is where a lot of arts and crafts are done. I think you can see it. Oh, there's the light switch. Here we go. There it is. It was hidden. Almost hidden. And then... have stained glass classes in here. Oh, you know a little mistake that I made here? This room is um, that I just showed you is not just for arts and crafts. And that, um, <laughs> I happen to know that table right, these two tables right here, they have poker games. And there's one more room in this building. And this is a little gym. They have a couple of very nice treadmills, an elliptical machine, a little weight machine, and a few free weights. Very, very nice. And on a scale of you dare want to weigh yourself. All right. 
right, here we are in, you see the, uh, the little hut there with the gates that's open 24 seven. And first we're gonna go through the, this side of the park, um, and then we'll go through the other. They have propane for sale here at a discounted rate for members. It's um, only a couple times a week. It's always on the schedule when they're gonna be out there selling propane. So you gotta plan a little bit in advance. You can kind of see the beautiful mountain backdrop. This side of the um, park, there's nothing but desert and mountain on this side. The other side, of course, we have uh, the, the two casinos. And like I said, I'm gonna go up and down every single road in the park here. <clears throat> now, a lot of people, especially people that aren't really used to RV parks, are gonna say, well, this looks very nice, nice amenities and everything, Rob, but, um, it's just too darn close together. Well, you're gonna find this spacing to be typical of almost every RV park other than super luxury ones that you will pay through the nose for. Um, can RV parks get noisy when you're close together? Heck yes. Um, but there's a big advantage here is that um, most of the people, they're older, not a lot of families, not a lot of kids. If you see kids, it's usually somebody's grandkids visiting. Um, people go to bed early, get up early. Um, I've never, in the two seasons I've been here, um, I've not had any kind of noise complaint. Now right there you see there's, a, there's another laundry room and restroom area right there, dumpster. And these to your left are the few, they do have a few pull-through sites. On, and the pull-through sites are on this side of the park. And, uh, you know, when you come in, um, you pick a spot that's open. You can't really, um, you can't reserve a, a particular spot. Yeah, there's somebody's starling set up there. Um, anyway, um, when you come in, they'll show you on a map all the spots that are available and you'll pick one. They'll even let you drive through and look at the available ones, um, land in the one that you like, and then go tell them um, which one that you're in. Um, the only caveat for me in picking a spot uh, is, a, is the trees and um, if it's a spot that interferes with my Starlink, um, it probably won't be good for me. But I tell you, when it's warm, the shade trees are pretty nice. Desert. And here's that building that had the, the workout room and the wood shop and everything in it. Watch the speed bumps if you're on a bike. Some of them are big. Okay, so that's this side. There's the little gardens and pools and koi ponds that I showed you. And we're, here's the main road again. We're gonna tour the other side. We'll go back up to the gate and start with row A. Row A is the first one. And I'll get it in there, making a left up here. 
you can see how secure this place is with the gates. When you, you stay here, they give you a key fob so you can open that gate when you come in. This is row A. Yeah, notice all the, the, when you look at these trees, just consider where you are. You're, you're in the desert in Pahrump, Nevada, and these trees are planted here and irrigated, and um, it's, it's a rare thing to have an RV park in this part of the country with shade, big shade trees. Um, this is a W is the row that is against the fence there, and that's the row that I, I'm actually in, but way down there. We're gonna go in B, in last season, I was in B. I believe I was in, I think I was in 17. No, I was in 15. I was the, the one that's open right there. That's the one I was in. And another bathhouse and laundry. That's the one I used to use last season all the time. It was just a few steps away from my campsite. That was nice. Hope I have enough enough battery in the GoPro to get through all these other rows, and then um, at the end, I really want to show you the the office, which is straight ahead. But it'll be um, we'll get there when we get to the last row. This is row C. Now, you know the microphone's on, and if this was a noisy place, you would be hearing it, and it's. You know, it's nine o'clock in the morning on a on a Tuesday, so and I can hear birds chirping. Now, there is a noise that you might be able to discern way in the background. That's the sound of a siren. Um, and if you don't like the sound of sirens in the in the distance, <laughs> you're not going to like it here very much. Um, we're in the center of Pahrump and the fire department rescue is stations right down the road and they, I bet they do um, a run an hour, 24 hours a day. Um, so uh, it doesn't bother me, um, if it bothers you, um, if, uh, not so much on, you know, where I showed you the far side where we first went. Um, where you saw the desert off in the distance, that's the far side of the park, that's probably the quieter side in terms of traffic and sirens and things like that. So we're on row D and we're gonna swing around and hit row E. So you're getting a tour, you're getting a tour of every single square inch of this park. Here's E. And hey, look, they're little cabins. And yes, you can rent. You don't need an RV to stay here. You can rent one of these bad boys. Um, I'll, you know, I'll have the website in the description so you can look at prices and, and things of that nature. But I did mention um, this is a membership, a member-owned resort. The members own this property, own the business. There's a board of directors and everything. And to be um, part of this, you buy a membership and it entitles you to the fraction 1 over 256. So there are 256 total available memberships. If you get one, you, that's your fractional ownership of this property, the real estate, and the business. And, um, and it's no, no joke. You, you, you fill out your paperwork, you buy, buy your membership, and uh, they send it into the county for processing. In a couple weeks later, you get a deed. You get a deed indeed. Um, so you own part of the business and you own real estate. Not just technically, you really do. Now, you probably know, well, how much is a membership? Well, the, the retail price of a membership is just a couple dollars under $5,000. For all intents and purposes, it's $5,000. You can go into the office, say you want to buy one, write it, you know, plop down your money, 
and we're, that was F. We're going to go to G, which is the last one. Um, but first, we're going to make a stop, and I'm going to show you the office, okay? Um, so that's $5,000, or you can buy one on the secondary market. I bought one on the secondary market because they're transferable. You can sell it. I bought one last year. I think I paid $2,600, and I understand right now there's a little glut of um, memberships online. I saw one advertised for $1,700 recently. I don't know whether that's still available or not, but um, and they're not always available. <coughs> and there's a fee you pay every year. I think this year it was um, $315 for the year. So here's the mail room. If you have a, uh, um, a package, you'll get one of these things. And, or if you have a FedEx or something you need to sign for, you'll be on the board here. And uh, the office is open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5. So it's open right now. This is what it looks like in here. Hello. And I've already asked these two about YouTube. They're, they're okay with being on YouTube. This is what the office looks like. And when you have problems, you come in here and they solve them, right? They do. And this is where you pick up your packages. Very friendly people in there. Very helpful. You know, I had some medication sent by FedEx. There's a little tiny sticker on it that says, keep refrigerated. And they're no, under no obligation to do so, but they saw that and they immediately put it in the refrigerator. Such nice people. So, we're going to do the last row and we're going to end up... Um, I'll show you where I camp, then we'll go down and I'll show you the dog park and the, and the uh, kind of herb garden, um, vegetable garden place. So this is the last row. On your left there, that's storage area, and as a member, you can store stuff. I think there's there's the, uh, obviously a fee for it. Um, but if you're seasonal, like a snowbird, and you want to store your RV down here for the summer, you can certainly do that. It looks pretty full now, though, doesn't it? And we're going by here. I'm looking, I don't know if you saw the flashing lights, but I was talking about rescue. They're, they're at the Holiday Inn Express right behind me. But this is me right here, the Winnebago. That's my truck. And we'll go show you one more thing down here. Two more things, actually, next to each other. Um, we're going to see the... The little vegetable gardens they have here. Now, I haven't seen anywhere in writing like what you need to do to get a little plot here. And it may not be in there because they may be all taken. I have no idea. Um, it's certainly active. We'll show you. Um, all right, so this is the uh, garden I was talking about. Gives you an idea of what's in here. It's pretty fascinating. Um, I'm sure many of you watching this will know what all these plants are. Um, I don't, <laughs> but it's nonetheless fascinating to me. And I'm about to run out of this battery. But I wanted to show you the last thing is going to be the little dog park over here. There's one on the other side that I didn't cover. It's about the same size. It's the opposite end of the park. It's very similar. But this is what it looks like. It's very nice. So, hey. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Preferred RV Resort. And if you have any questions, um, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Take care.